Hello world, from whichever time zone you're catching me from, my name is MD90. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so that you do not miss the uploads that come out. And uh, the easiest way for you, for you to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist. You'll find videos curated for you based on your interest. So if you're interested in the Kutika podcast, you'll find a playlist for that on news and trends. There's a playlist for that Excl exclusive with MD90, a bunch of uh, playlists that are created based on your interest. So the easiest way to navigate the channel is head straight to the playlist and you'll find what you're here for. Now consider becoming a member of the channel. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is the join button. You click on the join button uh, so that you can become a member of the channel. Uh, you support the team on the production and the number of things that we're doing here and uh, we appreciate that. So former president Edgar Chagalungu met up with the uh, group of uh, uh, clergy, the same team that had met uh, President Daka Inde uh, a week ago, and then had uh, prayer session with the incumbent president Daka Inde Chidema. Did the same thing with Edgar Lungu yesterday at Cathedral of the Holy Cross. So these are some of the images that came from that. Uh, what is Chief Atari, uh makes a statement with regard to what Mao Samba said? So Chief Atari says, Mao Samba celebrates the jail sentence of uh, Chaiti Katanga, the former police uh, deputy inspector or general of police, and urges the courts to send more of the PF guys to jail. Uh, Mukose, and then he laughs it out loud. So if you remember in my previous broadcast, I had stated... Uh, where Mao Sampa was saying the courts should uh, be swift uh, with the current uh, proceedings uh, in court, which Fetari also says to say most of uh, these sentences of, uh, uh, with regard to um, cases re regarding property to be perceived uh, as proceeds of crime are coming to an end, so we should expect more of those jailings. So further on, he went on and then he highlighted uh, this case to say, uh, watch this case uh, closely. So this is the case in which uh, Savoy Imboe, the NTC president, uh, is scheduled to appear before Lusaka Magistrate Court uh, at 14 hours for the continuation of a defense in the matter involving an alleged uh, defamation of State House uh, Chief Communication Specialist, uh, Gleison Hamasaka. So Chief Atayari says uh, that's a case you should watch out for. Uh, maybe you know something. We'll wait and see how that plays out. But all this was just like a build up for what he really wanted to say. So he has been avoiding making political statements for a while, but you can tell that he's eager to give his political opinion because everything that he's trying to do on uh, his uh, pages uh, with regard to advising on social issues are not catching on as much as when he makes political statement. So eventually he was compelled to make a statement. I'm pretty sure he's going to start going live again and making <laughs> statements with this regard. So this is what he really wanted to say, Chief Adele. So he put up this article. He says, don't get excited. 2026 can go either way. Uh, regardless of uh, the position you have in government or private sector, or uh, whatever business you own, um, I would advise you not to go, um, not to be too excited on either ruling part, uh, party or opposition because the political uh, future is not certain. Uh, it is a 50-50 situation in 2026, he says. I know the UPND would want to, short, uh, to do a shortcut by, by disqualifying President Lungo, uh, but that would be very catastrophic. Um, catastrophic because uh, that would make him even uh, a stronger candidate. Uh, he goes further, but that would make him a stronger candidate. And uh, it would take away a lot of goodwill from President uh, Haka Inde Ichirema. So he goes further to say. Besides that, uh, it will erode public confidence in the judiciary and uh, they will be seen as a UPND puppet saving President Haga in the Ishilema's interest. Such a situation may lead into public unrest. Uh, that said, 
it is very clear that President Lungu will be on the ballot in 2026. Even if the UNCA leaders, the UNCA, that's the alliance that Edgar Lungu has formed with other opposition leaders, um, are still playing hide and seek on the issue. There is no leader uh, who has more political inbuilt than Edgar Chagalungu in that UNCA alliance or the entire opposition. However, uh, the, the former president can transfer that uh, to another person if he so wishes. Actually, uh, President Lungu picking another candidate would even make it uh, that person would, would even make that person and the opposition more stronger. However, trust issues may make uh, Edgar Chagalungu not go that way. I mean, go for it uh, himself. And then he alleges to say, uh, if you remember the situation between uh, Wanawasa and Chiruwa, how it played out. So for his own security, Edgar Lungu might go it. For, I'm gonna go for it himself. He goes further to say. Anyway, uh, this is not uh, to say that President Lungu was the upper hand over the incumbent Hagai in the Chiruwa. They are both uh, competing in weakness, and whoever will give people a little bit of hope will carry the day in 2026. I will not discuss this. Um, um, I will not discuss the strengths of either of them, Haka Inde Ichirema and uh, Edgar Chagalungu, because they do not have it. The strength is in the people at this point. What uh, what are their weaknesses? So you know, now it abilates the weaknesses of both Haka Inde Ichirema and Edgar Chagalungu. So he says, let me start with the incumbent. In my view, President Haka Inde Shema has not managed to have a team that is working together like a system uh, to pass the ball from one person to another until they score. President Haka Inde Shema is still a one-man president. There isn't even a political chemistry between himself and his vice president, Mutalena Nubango, in spite of her being his running mate. Um, if you had a recent interview, uh, uh, she clearly she is clearly distancing herself from some of the campaign promises uh, President Haka Inde Ichirema made. She would uh, come out and say, for me, uh, what I said, things like that. The language is uh, the language is di different and uh, clear, and, and it is clear it's a marriage of convenience between uh, Haka Inde Ichirema and uh, Mutarina Nubango. When, when you talk about uh, ministers, you would wonder if they even call each other uh, to coordinate on, on anything. I, I wonder if they even have uh, common policies and goals that they are working towards. Other government officials and also uh, are also in this area such that I wonder if PSs are on, on the same wavelength with the secretary to cabinet or they have all their, their own special duties. The presidential aides are kicking in all directions such that you cannot even tell the direction of the presidency until Haka Inde Ichirema comes out on some issue, then you see them running in that direction, but only for a few days. I honestly doubt uh, some of these guys know uh, the ex what they exactly their job entails. Uh, with this kind of leadership, it is very hard to, to imagine that they would uh, come up with uh, workable solutions to sort out, sort out the various economic and social problems uh, the citizens are facing. So he goes further to say, uh, the, the mining sector uh, is still not given them as the results uh, to help with the exchange rate. Uh, for, for government keeps on talking about increasing production to 3 million metric tons, uh, but much of which has not increased the, the, the past uh, two years to give us any hope. Politically, President Haka Inde Ichirema might not, um, might not sound sweet uh, in, 20, in, in the next election in 2026, because uh, he promised a lot, of, uh, a lot to win the elections, to win an election, but very few of those things have come to pass, and uh, he is not able to face the truth and explain why. Uh, I can uh, I can assure you, most of the MPs they will not make it back to Parliament because uh, the increased CDF has not helped them. So, because uh, be nice to us, uh, some of us will come uh, is wanting the MPs there. I can say a lot on that but it may turn into consultancy and uh, these guys do not pay. Uh, let me go to President Edgar Chagalungu, he says. 
And the first thing I would talk about uh, is that the former president does not seem to know uh, how he lost the election. He was the man in uh, he was the man with the power. They organized the election, and yet he lost. What happened? President Lungu will, uh, um, will be contesting an election as an opposition leader. Power will not be in his hands. Uh, it will be in the hands of uh, Ed, I mean, uh, Haka Inde Ichima. Does he think the incumbent will be gracious as he was, willingly handing over power uh, to him if he loses uh, knowing that jail and um, other uh, bad things await him? Some people think uh, that I just love money. Uh, but I am very realistic, and polit uh, politics need money. Yes, people will pump in money if they are convinced, uh, but you need some kind of capital to stir up that mood, which will make these people with big money come in. Uh, in other words, President Lungu and, the UNC and his UNCA group need to mobilize resources, uh, probably from the outside, because a lot of uh, people locally do not have that money. And I am talking about big money because they will be fighting against uh, those in power. Of course, President Lungu attracts crowds organically wherever he goes, but we need uh, those crowds bust up uh, from Matero, Chawama, Kanyama, such that uh, it's secure, I mean, it scares the police to stop him from going anywhere he would like and issued, uh, like it used to be when Akainde Ishirema was in opposition. One thing I can confess here is that uh, these, those in power mess around with, uh, with me because I do not have uh, money. If I, if I had it, even your courts would be too small for me. Uh, for now, let me just uh, be a fool, Chief Etayari says there. And then anyway, uh, the, the team around Edgar Chagalungu must start shaping up uh, with credible people, not the same characters that made, him, made people upset and decided to remove him from power. For now, let me end here because uh, my political consultancy is not free. And then he says, uh, what about me? The answer is simple. This is politics. I will work with anyone who can assure me of my freedom to speak my mind for the people and uh, make me look after my family. He said, so that's the opinion he's been trying to <laughs> issue for a while, but he's been dying inside because he has a number of um, cases in court. So uh, today he just felt like, hey, let me do an article. Most likely you even do a live to follow up uh, on that. But then again, Edgar Chagalungu shocked by a drug enforcement statement. So uh, Zambia's uh, sixth president, Edgar Chagalungu, has expressed shock at the first allegation by the Drug Enforcement Commission that they have nabbed a uh, his former driver for drug trafficking in cannabis. The former president says he has never had a driver named uh, Jov Jovancio Matthew Spiri under state house or under his office attached to his I mean, under his officers attached to his office from the Zambia police. He, uh, he has uh, called on the Drug Enforcement Commission director uh, Nelson Banda to show minimum decency and professionalism. The former president has called uh, on the public uh, institutions to remain professional despite political pressure they receive from desperate leaders who are engaged in attempting to tarnish his name and his legacy. The Drug Enforcement Commission issued a statement stating that uh, its officers in Eastern Province had arrested the former President Lungu's driver and security personnel identified that Jovanso Matthew Spiri, aged 53, uh, for trafficking 50, uh, 55 kg of loose cannabis. Uh, President Lungu has uh, also called on the media to be professional despite the current political pressure uh, of states uh, shrinking democratic space and uh, reject temptation to allure of uh, making uh, them uh, paid voices and parrot government propaganda. He gave an example where he had called for the implementation of quality education in Zambia and uh, the need not to, I mean, um, sacrifice quality education in the name of free education, a statement that has grossly and falsely been reported uh, that he called for the cancellation of free education policy. President Lungu said, Zambia is facing a serious crisis um, Oh, it's faced with serious crisis, challenges of the economy and disease outbreaks and worse costs of living in, in many decades. He said Zambia was facing a threat 
of food insecurity following the drought that we were currently experiencing. He said, the concern about food security was so serious that may worsen the current economic conditions uh, that we are currently dealing with. So uh, this was issued by Emmanuel Mwamba, uh, chairperson of information and publicity in the Patriotic Fund, a member of the Central Committee on behalf of Edgar Chagwalungu. So that's the news, ladies and gentlemen. Channel. Make sure you click on the subscribe button, you click on the notifications to get the notifications of every video that I upload. I try to upload every week, sometimes every day of the week, but definitely each week you expect a video. So make sure you click on the subscribe, like this video, and there's much more on the playlist. So visit the channel and see you around.